You are what I'm looking for. Hello and welcome back. Today's video is going to be part two in the Lavender book series and I'm going to show you how I create a signature that goes inside of this book. So here is the book that we made in the previous video. If you haven't seen this, I will link it in the description box down below. I'm going to be using products from the Aquarelle Dreams paper collection. In our next video, we're going to start decorating this book. So for today, let's get this signature put together. So I've got a bunch of pieces of eight and a half by 11 sheets of cardstock, and I'm gonna score them in half across the 11 inch side at five and a half. I'll grab my bone folder and fold the score line and crease them, and then I'm gonna stick them all inside of each other. I have seven sheets for each signature. I'm just gonna try to figure out which order I want my color scheme to be, and I feel like this bunch of colors really coordinates well with the Aquarelle paper collection. So I've gone ahead and done this for two signatures, and now we're gonna start measuring and getting into the technical stuff. I have a scrap piece of paper that measures the same size as the spine of my book. So this measures nine inches by one and a half inches. So the first thing I wanna do is find the center of this little strip. So across the nine inch side, I'm gonna make a mark at four and a half. And then I'm just gonna use my grid line to help me draw a straight line across the center of this little sheet here. Okay, and that's gonna mark the center. Now we're going to measure across the one and a half inch side and mark the center, which is three quarters of an inch. So I'll do this to the top and to the bottom so that I can create a straight line all the way across. So again, I'm measuring at three quarters of an inch on either side. And then I'll take my ruler and connect those two dots and create a line down the center. So this gives us the exact center point of our spine. Basically what I wanna do is make sure that my signatures are spaced evenly in the book so that they're not sort of wonky and weird and it looks nice and clean and cohesive. So I've got one of my signatures here and I'm just kind of eyeballing where the center of this little strip will be. I'm kind of using my grid mark to help make sure I have the same amount of space on the top and the bottom. I'll mark the top of this little sheet, creating a little line so I can identify where the top of the signature is going to line up so that I get both pieces the same. Okay, so you'll see how this comes into play in a minute. All right, so once I've got that marked, the next thing I wanna do is figure out how far apart I need to space my signatures. So here on this center line, I'm gonna kinda measure, I'm gonna put the one inch mark right on the center line there, and then I'm gonna measure a quarter inch to the left and make a little dot, and then a quarter inch to the right and make a little dot. So basically that little dot will give us half an inch between the two signatures. Okay, so I'm gonna to go to the top and I'm gonna do the same thing. Quarter inch to the left of the center line and a quarter inch to the right of the center line. And then to the very bottom, I'm gonna line up my little number one and mark again a quarter inch to the left and a quarter inch to the right. Okay, so once I've got that figured out, I'm gonna make some lines from the top little dot and make sure that all three of those little dots line up, one, two, three and draw a line, and then do the same thing to the second, and connect those dots. So now here, I'm going to identify the areas where we're gonna poke holes. So at these two intersections, this is going to be the center of our signature. So I have two signatures, I'm gonna create two dots. Okay, now using my ruler, I'm gonna line up the three inch mark on my ruler, and then I'm gonna measure three inches to the left, and three inches to the right, and I'm gonna make a mark. Okay, and I'll do the same thing on the next line for the second signature. I'll measure three inches to the left, make a mark, and three inches to the right and make a mark. And then I'm gonna connect those two little dots, identifying the next holes for our signature. Okay, so I'm just gonna highlight these little dots and then that's gonna be kind of it for the measuring here. The rest is gonna be pretty simple. So I wanna really make sure that I get those areas marked 
nice and bold so that you can see them and then I can see them. Next, I'm going to take my signature and I'm going to take some paper clips or binder clips and I'm going to clip all the pieces together. I'm going to make sure everything is nice and straight and then clip all four sides of this paper so that my crease marks in the center are lined up nice and straight. Now I'm going to take my little template here and I'm going to line the top of the paper, which happens to be on the right. I'm going to line it up with that little top marked line. And then I'm going to grab my pen and make a little dot in the paper using those lines that we've created. Okay, so I'm going to do that for both books. I'm going to mark three little dots and this is where we're going to poke the holes for the signature. So now I'm going to grab my little flower making toolkit and inside of here there's a little piece of foam and this foam is great because I can poke holes in cardstock and paper and things without damaging my desk or my work surface. So I'm just going to put that foam underneath the spine of my book here and then I'm going to grab a pokey tool and I'm going to poke through the center of that cardstock into my foam making sure I get through all seven of those pieces of paper. And the best tool to use here is a book all. I was being lazy and didn't want to grab the right tools. I was just trying to use this pokey tool and uh, I kept struggling with it a bit and the pokey tool kept getting pushed in. But that's okay, not to worry. We've gone ahead and poked these three holes. I'm gonna grab my book binding tools to complete this in a moment. So I'll set that aside and I'll do that for both of my books the exact same way. I'm going to poke the holes into the spine of the book. So I'm going to go back and grab my cover and my little template and a couple of those binder clips. I'm going to take my little template and line it up into the center of my book and clip them down to the spine and then I'm going to start poking these holes. So I'm going to grab my little piece of foam, put my spine on top of it and I have another pokey tool here which I'm not exactly sure why I was wasting my time with this. If I grabbed the book all it would have made it a lot easier and I'll show you that in just a moment exactly what that is. So I'm going to go ahead and poke all six of those holes through the template, through the spine of the book and then we'll get ready to start sewing the signatures in. So all six of the holes are now poked into the spine and you can see them here and then I wanted to show you the book making toolkit that I keep talking about and it has everything I need inside of it. So it's got needles and some book alls, there's a couple of different ones, a bunch of different needles, some little measuring tape and some wax thread. And these are all important things that we're going to need in order to put this book together. I'm going to use this gray twine, I think it's going to match nicely and not really stand out too much. So I'm going to get started here. I'm going to grab a little pair of snips to cut my wax thread. I've got a needle. Those little snips come with my toolkit as well. So I'm just going to measure out three lengths of my book. So I'm just pulling this thread and measuring out three times the size of my book and then I'll snip it off and then I'll just use this as a guide for how much I'll need for my next signature and snip. So now I've pulled in my book cover here and I'm going to grab that book all and poke those holes to make sure that they're big enough for my needle to pass through. I should have done this the first time so I wouldn't have had to come back and do it again, but that's okay. We live and we learn. So I've gone ahead and poked those holes nice and good, make sure that they went all the way through the cardstock and the chipboard. And now I'm going to grab my needle and I have my eye of my needle threaded through and I'm going to put this through the center hole in my signature and then through the center hole of the spine of my book cover. And I'm going to pull the thread and leave a good length of wax thread behind and just kind of hold that with my thumb in place. And then I'm going to bring the needle back through the top hole, poke through the top hole of the book cover and then through the top hole of the signature. And then I want to make sure that I keep that little tail of wax thread on the inside, making sure that I keep that length. Okay, and I'm going to pull my thread nice and tight. And then I'm going to pull the tail out of the way and then I'm going to poke my needle back through the center again, making sure that I don't catch that thread because if I poke my needle through the thread it's going to be hard to tighten up the signature. 
Okay, so once that's through, I'm going to come back through the bottom hole now and then through the bottom hole of the signature and then pull my needle through. I'm going to pull everything nice and tight, slip my needle through that little loop there and then I'm going to tie this off. I'm going to tie a knot first, making sure that my signature is nice and tight. You can tie a bow or you can leave these, whatever you want to do. And you can cut off the excess. You don't have to tie a bow. But there we go. We have our first signature sewn in and we have these little tails left over. I'm going to leave these alone for now. And then I'm going to take off these clips. The signature is sewn in. So I'm going to do the exact same thing for the second signature. And we'll run through this one more time very quickly. And I'm not worried about those wax threads on the spine of the book because I'll be able to use pattern paper to cover it up. So I'm going to thread my needle with my next piece of wax thread, poke through the center hole of my signature, and then through the center hole of my book, and then pull that needle through and make sure that I keep a little bit of a tail on the inside, and then go back through the top hole of the book cover and then the top hole of the signature. Okay, and then I'm going to hold on to that center thread there, making sure I keep my tail and then pull nice and tight, pull my thread to the right out of the way so that my needle can pass through without catching on to that wax thread. And then I'm going to go back in through the last hole, through the book cover into the signature. And then I'll take this opportunity to tighten up my threads, make sure that everything is where I want it to be, pull everything nice and tight, slip my needle underneath that little loop and then tie a knot to secure everything into place. So I've tied double knots in both of these signatures. I'll remove these clips and then our book is all sewn in together just like that. And now it's ready for the fun part, the decorating. So we have two nice full signatures and our magnetic closure. And then the next video will be the fun part. We'll start decorating this and really bring this book to life. So here we are with our sewn in signatures, ready to move on to the next step. Okay, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend it here with me. I appreciate the support as always. Links for the products that I've used in today's video will be listed in the description box down below. If you're interested in making a purchase, please consider using my affiliate links as it helps support my channel. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and leave me a comment down below if you're enjoying this series. Coming up on screen is a playlist for all of the projects that I've created so far with the Aqua Isle Dreams collection, including video number one in the Lavender book series. Have yourself a lovely day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!